one of my favorites. We have the point PR. And this is where, you know, I still have the habit of when I see coordinates, I remind myself that that is an X and a Y. And this point PR lies on the equation Y equals X plus B. Okay. The point with coordinates 2P5R, that is also an X and a Y, lies on the line Y equals 2X plus B. What is the value of R over P? So this is a very important part. Whenever they specify at the end, you'll see this a lot with those percentage problems where they're like, C is what percent of B? They're telling us what letters matter in this equation. So now I know that X, Y, and B do not matter. We want to get rid of those and we want an equation with just R and P. Fortunately, P and R are X, Y values. So I can already get rid of all my X's and Y's. In my first equation here, I can say R is equal to P plus B. So all I did was I took these, uh, this X and Y and I plugged it into this X and Y. For my second equation, I see this X and Y, which I can plug into this X and Y. So I can say 5R is equal to, this is going to be 2 times X, so 2 times 2P, so 4P plus B. And then there's multiple ways you can do this. I like doing elimination. Since B doesn't matter, we don't want it in our final equation. We could just multiply this entire equation by a negative. So negative R, negative P, negative B, and add them together. So that's going to get us 4R equals 3P. And then my Bs cancel out. That was our goal. And then finally, they want literally what is R over P. So that's my goal. I want to get R divided by P. So I can divide both sides by P and I get 4R over P is equal to 3. And my final step here is to get R over P. I have to get rid of that 4, divide both sides by 4. My 4s cancel out and R over P is equal to 3 over 4. Answer choice B.